When seven-year-old Amelia started singing in a bomb shelter in Kyiv, the crowded and noisy underground room where people were hiding from Russian shelling felt completely silent. Filmed and posted by the neighbor named Martha, the video of Amelia singing a song from the Disney film Frozen went viral almost instantly. They liked it a lot. They all applauded. They were giving me high fives. Amelia tells me this story in a peaceful park near Poland's capital, where we met with her mother, Lila, and grandmother, Vira. Feeding the birds at the lake, Amelia recalled to me how she used to feed the ducks in Ukraine and how when the war started, she often went to the bomb shelter and had to watch her every step because of the possible landmine along the way. Her mother, Lila, recall when she decided to leave Kiev. When Amelia started to be afraid to come to the windows, and when we would leave home to go to the shelter and then back because we would go to the bomb shelter at night, she would ask me at every step, can she take the step and if it's safe? At that point, I realized it is the end, it is the line. If I cross it and we will stay in Kyiv, she will become psychologically damaged. She will become a child who is afraid of her own shadow. Amelia remembers the crowded train ride out of Kyiv. Some people stood up, some people sat down, slept on the floor at the train station. Me too. They gave us a soft mattress. The family says people treat them well here in Poland. The family of four lives for free in a home outside of Warsaw. Amelia and her 15-year-old brother Misha can attend school here. But their mother is hoping they will be able to go home soon. I was hoping to come here for a few weeks. Now I understand it could be longer. But I have the capacity to hope it will be only for a few months. I am afraid to imagine it could be longer. It doesn't matter how good and safe it is here. I feel foreign. I'd like to go home. I would like to see my husband. I am afraid for my family. I really hope that someone will hear my prayers and the prayers of thousands and millions of people, and I will be home soon. And Amelia says she feels like she's growing up fast. The child appears unusually composed as she talks about her homeland. We have to speak Ukrainian, not Russian, because our enemy speaks Russian. Our land is in Ukraine. We have to speak Ukrainian. We have war in Ukraine. Russia is attacking us. I am afraid for my family. My dad is there, my grandfather, my grandmother. I am afraid for all of them. Many kids have already died, and I would like to live very much, and other kids would like to live. Amelia's mother and grandmother are trying to maintain a sense of normality for her and her older brother. Last year, Amelia started going to school in Kyiv. Now a refugee, she resumes her studies in this small town near Warsaw. The family hopes the war will end and they will return soon. For now, little Amelia is using her talent and newfound fame, singing at charity concerts around Poland. And she is raising a lot of money to help Ukraine. Miroslava Gungadze, Voice of America, Warsaw, Poland.